everybody, welcome to the vlog. I am doing a full day of keto eating today and if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. I've had quite a busy day today so far. I'm going to try to make a long story short, which you guys know I'm not really good at, but I have a neck injury is the long and short of it. So I've spent the last couple hours with a new chiropractor trying to get to the bottom of what is going on because it is prohibiting me from doing my absolute best in life. I am struggling with work because I am in pain. I am having a lot of issues. Now I'm trying to avoid having to have surgery or anything crazy like that. We're going the chiropractic route and I have an amazing chiropractor team, a husband and wife. I just adore them. So I know that they're gonna get me back on track. So I have fasted all morning. I've had water and black coffee. It's now lunchtime for me and I'm going to do one of my 310 shakes. I have a new favorite way that I do it, which is why I'm coming in here and showing you guys. Now, if you do not like meal replacement shakes, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to do meal replacement shakes on keto. The reason that I love a meal replacement shake is because I'm able to get all of my vitamins, nutrients, fats in, in a something that I can drink in 10 seconds flat. And for me, being such an on the go person, that just really works well for me. I also don't have any prepared food in my house right now, so I don't have time or the desire to cook anything. So let me show you how I make my shake, and then we'll talk a little bit more about self-care in the chiropractic realm and we'll keep it going through a full day of keto eating. I know you guys love these. I think it's funny that you want to see what I eat every day, but let's do it. All right, here are the key players in my peanut butter chocolate meal replacement shake. Unsweetened original almond milk, my 310 shake in chocolate. Then I've got some MCT oil and also some peanut butter powder. This is my favorite way to drink it so far and I've tried it nine million different ways. Here is my 12 ounces of unsweetened almond milk. To that, I'm going to add one scoop of my 310 shake in the chocolate flavor. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of the peanut butter powder and a tablespoon of MCT oil. Hopefully you do this cleaner than I did. Then we shake. This really hurts my neck. <sighs> Other side, other side this with the peanut butter powder with the almond milk with the shake yada yada it's about five net carbs this is a meal for me a five net carb meal that i'm going to be able to just kind of get down real quick uh, mm, so delicious so now I'm getting my protein, I'm getting in my fats, I'm getting in everything that I need to be able to make it for the next few hours without a meal. My next meal is going to be something very simple, probably just some variety of eggs. Haven't fully decided, but I will show you because I always do. If you are interested in purchasing the 310 Nutrition, I'm gonna leave a link down below. The link can be a little bit confusing. The Starter Keto Bundle Kit is only $39, but when you go to click the link, it's going to show you a different price. If you have trouble figuring it out, shoot me an email or shoot me a message down in the comments below and I'll help you figure it out. But it should only be $39 for the Starter Keto Bundle Kit, and I hope that you will try it. Hand to God, when I do this regularly and I incorporate 310 shakes into my daily meals, I lose weight every week. It could be a coincidence. It could just be something psychologically that makes me eat better when I'm incorporating this. But the truth of the matter is that when I add this to my routine, I always lose weight that week. So food for thought or shake for thought. Mm. I think it's delicious. I think you guys will love it. Let's talk about my neck really quick. Do we have any chiropractors in the house or any people who are just chiropractor students maybe? I found chiropractic to be not only life-changing but also incredibly interesting. If it's not your thing, I totally understand, but it has been life-changing for me personally. To show you guys what I'm dealing with here, now this is going to be like layman's terms. This is my scan. Okay, 
this number up here for this bar goes to two on the computer. Two would be the worst case scenario. Zero being no pain and it looks great. Two being super high, we need to do something. The area of my neck that is causing distress, which is the atlas, it's the very top of my spine, is reading at a 2.5. If I went to a physician, I have a feeling they would tell me that I needed surgery. I am a chicken and I am terrified of having surgery, so we are going the chiropractic route. I have my formal adjustment tomorrow. Today was just my intake and do all my x-rays and that kind of stuff, but hopefully I'll have some relief by tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, leave it down below. I will let you guys know how it goes. I'm a little nervous just because I'm in a lot of pain. I'm really hoping it helps. It is definitely causing me a lot of aggravation at the moment and is making some things that I do on the daily unsafe. Like driving, I have to turn my whole body to be able to look both ways and so on and so forth. I'm going to go drink my shake. I'm going to do some cleaning that doesn't require me to use too much of my neck. And then I'll see you guys for a super late lunch. This is like lunch A. I will do a lunch B in a few hours. See you soon. Shut up, Amanda. It is lunchtime. I had some hard boiled eggs in the fridge. So this is three hard boiled eggs with a heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise. And what I like to do with egg salad is take some smoked ham lunch meat and use it as a wrap and a vessel for my egg salad. So, ham, egg salad roll-ups is what I'm doing for lunch. I realize this may seem like a super weird combination, but I'm telling you, ham and lunch meat as vessels for a wrap really cures my sandwich craving it is dinner time finally uh real talk my neck is killing me so i am making dinner right now but i low-key want to go and cry so we're gonna have pizza chicken i just made a batch of marinara i will go ahead and link the easy recipe video to that up above if you haven't made my homemade marinara i really hope that you'll try it it is delicious pizza chicken doesn't really get any easier just a handful of ingredients making the marinara is the hardest part so here's what you'll need and then i'll show you my plate and i'm gonna get the heck out of here this is the homemade marinara. You could leave it chunky like this, but I'm about to run it through the blender to make it nice and smooth. Hey. I've got a bunch of chicken cutlets here. They're nice and thin. I put a little bit of olive oil on them, then salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now they're gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. They'll come out after 20 minutes and then we'll put all of the pizza toppings on them and bake for a few more minutes. All right. Chicken baked, chicken baked for 20 minutes. Then each piece gets sauce. Then pepperoni. Be sure to use the pepperoni that did not fall on the floor. Then we're gonna dollop on some ricotta cheese. Be sure to use the whole fat version. We're gonna top it with mozzarella cheese. Now each chicken cutlet will get the same treatment and it'll go back in the oven. They are all dressed and ready. Now they're going back into the 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes, just until the cheese is melted and the chicken is cooked all the way through. <laughs> Who is that? And this is pizza chicken. I'm willing to bet this will become an absolute family favorite and most requested in your house. You can mix it up so many different ways too. If you don't like ricotta, you don't have to add it. You could add sausage. You could add onions and peppers. There's just a million different ways to do it. I hope it inspires you. I can't wait to eat it. This is my plate. Naturally, I picked one of the biggest cutlets there were because I'm pretty hungry. I'm not up to making a side dish, so I'm just not going to. I'm just going to enjoy this chicken all by itself, and it's going to be magical. 
I will leave the other recipe video from when I cooked pizza chicken in its entirety on the channel and I will go ahead and throw that above if I can find it. If not, I'll put it down below. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing, amazing week and we're just, you know, living our best keto life. I'm trying to make things that make me feel really satiated and like I'm splurging because I'm having some cravings here and there. Stress and pain does that. It's just my my thing. So I will see you guys super soon. Oh, if you have any questions about the 310 nutrition, leave it down below. I would love to answer them for you and tell you a little bit more of how much I like it. And pizza chicken. That's it guys, nothing fancy here today. I will see you super soon. Have the best day of your life.